Begin by making yourself as comfortable as you can. Take a moment to adjust your posture, adjust your seat until you have confidence in the comfort and stability of your posture. And hold strongly in your mind the intention to meditate. Take a moment to scan the body, beginning with your feet. And as you scan the body going up, connect with the palpable sense of ease in the body. Connect with a palpable sense of joy in the body. Continuing up the spine to your arms, all the way to your eyes. And once you feel through the body that you are actually touching the meditative state to some degree, rejoice, turn your mind to your breath, After you become somewhat acquainted with the breath, take three full breaths to help stabilize and deepen the experience of being in the meditative state. Gently through the nose, breathe in fully and through the mouth, breathe out. As you breathe out, let go, feeling a strong sense of relaxation in the body as you do so. And in that new sense of relaxation, breathe in. And breathe out. Noticing strengthening of the inner signs as you do so. And in their new strength, breathe in for the third time. And breathe out. the breath alone, take a moment to uh, notice the state of calm, the degree of joy in the breath, in the body, in the mind. Notice the inner sensations, their strength pointing to inner clarity, inner radiance. And once you feel present in the meditative state, And gently begin to consider. Consider whatever it is that is going on in your life where you feel blocked. Perhaps there's something going on in your life where that you wish you would no longer have to experience. Or perhaps you're even anticipating something coming. And keep thinking that until you feel a deep sense of wanting this experience to no longer be. Acknowledge that 
And this experience is present because of your own actions. So own, own it. Know that it exists because of you. Not with a sense of dysfunctional guilt, but with a sense of power, knowing that it is existing because of you. In this way, you admit after this, knowing that this is coming through your own participation, to your own power, and recognizing that it's not something that you want to continue, and you have a deep sense of regret for whatever it is that you may have done whatever actions, whatever convictions that may have brought this into existence. And you feel the need to do something about it, to uproot the rest of the seeds of this experience. Then you begin with that aspiration, that deep sense of, I wish I knew what I did. I wish I could have something else that I could do. With that aspiration and whatever it is that I, that you're acknowledging that you may have done the strong sense of not wanting to repeat this in the future. Then begin to focus in the space in front of you at the level of your eyebrows. And understand that deep within there's an aspect of ourselves, that very aspect that gives us the sense of hope, the sense that change is possible, a deep part of us that is unpolluted by this very experience, and make a deep wish to connect with that. And begin to imagine that in some future time, some future space, there is a you that is already awakened. That is a you that is free of this condition, of this reality that you no longer wish to experience. And as you continue to contemplate that you, that aspect of yourself, that purity, you begin to feel a sensation in the forehead. And you continue contemplating that. And you see in front of you the you that is free of this condition, the you that has always been pure, has never been polluted by this reality. You keep focusing on that you in the space in front of you at the level of your eyebrows. And as you continue to focus, that sensation in the forehead keeps getting stronger. And you turn towards that you 
I will depend on those aspects of myself that are beyond this. And have a deep sense of compassion for yourself. Have a deep sense of compassion for others who are caught in the same experience. And hold on to whatever measure to that conviction that that you that is unpolluted, ever never polluted, that you that is free of that condition and a sense of conviction in its reality. And as you turn towards it, you ask it to come to the crown of your head and feel that sensation moving from the crown of your head, from the space between the eyebrows to the crown of your head. And you feel that presence of that you above your head. And it takes on a very bright white presence. And while it's there, you continue to direct your attention towards it. And you start to feel an actual feeling now at the crown. And with that deep sense of regret for whatever you may have done to have created this reality that you no longer wish to experience, that reality that you feel it's on its way to you that you don't want to experience. Feel that deep sense of regret. And now, with the presence of that purity of yourself above your head, you're turning towards it. You're relying on it. And you're also relying on your compassion you really feel a sense of compassion for yourself for being in this condition. A deep sense of compassion for anyone who is experiencing this. A deep sense of compassion for those who may experience this in their immediate future. And with that sense of compassion, with that conviction, now you're willing to do something. You want to do something at this very moment. So you appeal to that purity of yourself that is never polluted. You appeal to that future awakened you. To be more present for its quality, for its sense of presence to be more present in your life and as you do so you recite the mantra om vajrasattva hum om vajrasattva hum as you recite it you continue to feel those sentiments the sentiment of fully relying on it, on its qualities, fully wishing to embody those qualities and see a nectar of light, white light, descending from its very heart, the center of its heart, entering you to the crown of your head. And this nectar is washing away this reality that is no longer that you no longer wish to experience and you continue to recite feeling compassion for yourself feeling compassion for everyone who is experiencing this who is about to experience this om vajrasattva hum om vajrasattva hum om vajrasattva hum 
Om Vajasadva Hum. Om Vajasadva Hum. Om Vajasadva Hum. And you repeat this seven times, twenty-one times, however long you have, however long you can. And seeing yourself receiving a shower of that light from the crown of your head, washing you, filling you with those qualities that you wish to embody, removing from you that reality, the seeds of them, see them leaving you. Om Vajasadva Hum. Om Vajasadva Hum. And once you're finished reciting the mantra, you invite Vajasadva to come dwell in your heart and to continue to inspire your actions so your actions are more skillful, no longer creating realities that you no longer, that you no longer wish to experience. And Vajrasattva becomes a spark of light, enters and feel Vajrasattva entering the crown of your head, descending, entering the very center of your heart. And once Vajrasattva is in your heart, that present is in your heart, you make a strong determination You think of a specific habit, a specific action, a specific mode of being that you feel connected to this reality that you participate in, in creating and holding this reality and make a strong determination and be sincere. I will no longer engage in speaking this way, acting this way, thinking this way, allowing such thoughts to govern and control my actions. And think of a specific amount of time that you can hold on to this for a minute, then for the next day, for the next week. And when you witness yourself, actually able to hold back, not speak a certain way, not act a certain way, not allow certain destructive thoughts, emotions to control your actions. Once you witness that for however long, however time you're able to do this, rejoice. And once you make that promise, that determination to restrain, rejoice, and get ready to come out of the meditation, spend some time feeling yourself in the meditative state, noticing the sense of tranquility, noticing the sense of joy, noticing the degree of clarity and radiance, rejoice. And take a nice deep breath. And get ready to come out. Slowly Become aware of the physicality of the body from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Joyfully become aware of your immediate surroundings through your sense of touch. Joyfully become aware through your sense of hearing. And lastly, 
through your sense of sight.